Rack Focus. Hey everybody, Johnny O from the Plot Hole here, and we're back with Unpopular Opinions, episode number three. I did that on purpose. First and foremost, this is not an unpopular opinion. I just have to say it. Chadwick Boseman will forever live on through the films that he starred in. Watching Boseman bring historically significant figures such as Thurgood Marshall and Jackie Robinson back to life on the big screen served as a necessary reminder that greatness still exists in this world. Boseman served as the beacon of talent, class, and charity to a world that sometimes found itself lacking of said features. Chadwick Boseman's presence, both on and off screen, will forever be missed. Godspeed, Mr. Bozeman. Unpopular opinion number one. Ladies, going commando while wearing a skirt doesn't make you edgy or sexy. It just means you're willing to serve up some New England clam chowder with a hint of beef stew at a moment's notice. Guys, same goes for you, only it's hamburgers and hot dogs. Unpopular opinion number two. Crossing state lines to protect a business that you don't own while illegally carrying a firearm doesn't make you brave. It makes you a criminal. And finally, political correctness is counterintuitive. Telling somebody who uses offensive language doesn't do anything other than subvert bigotry. It's not like said person will all of a sudden have a change of heart just because you told him or her to stop using these words. All we've done is further camouflage hatred. Let those douchebags say whatever it is they want to say. At least it'll put a gigantic target on their backs and we'll know exactly who they are. My grandfather used to always tell me that he didn't have a problem with the Ku Klux Klan. For the longest time, I didn't understand that. But as I've gotten older, and as I've seen what we have done with political correctness, we are hiding it. We are forcing it to go underground, which is not necessarily a good thing. What my grandfather really meant was that the KKK at least put robes and hoods and all this shit on so he knew exactly who the bad guy was. Now, those same Ku Klux Klan grand dragon assholes, instead of wearing sheets, they're wearing business suits and we can't really tell who they are. I blame political correctness. Yes, it's uncouth to use offensive language. However, constantly correcting people, telling them they have to change the way they are to fit what you think they should be, doesn't do anything to help change who they are. All it does is put you in this bubble where you think shit doesn't exist. There's a reason why people think that racism isn't a big deal anymore, because we have subverted it. We have pushed it down into, we, we, we've caused it to go into hiding. Instead of it being in plain sight, where we know exactly where it is, and we know exactly how to attack it, now we have to sit there and wonder, was he really being racist, or was he just being funny? Or was he trying to be funny? So yeah, political correctness, I'm sorry, we don't get along all the time. I don't think we should be saying certain things. Like, there are certain words that we shouldn't be using. Absolutely agree with that. However, telling somebody they can't say these words doesn't do anything to stop bigotry, racism, or hatred. Just doesn't. Political correctness, we don't get along. And that's Unpopular Opinions episode number three. That's right, I did it right this time. I'm your humble host, Johnny O. You can support the show at uh, patreon.com slash theplothole1. That's the number one, not the O needers. That's right. I'm going to continue using that joke until I get, uh, let's see here. We'll say until I get 25 patrons. Once I get 25 patrons, I'll no longer tell that joke. But until then, that's right. Those are my unpopular opinions. Yes, I know the first one wasn't an unpopular opinion. At least I hope it's not an unpopular opinion because the world truly is going to miss true talent like Chadwick Boseman. That being said, if you disagree with anything I've said, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to have some discord with you. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I'm still working on putting together a unpopular opinions compilation where I read the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, if you agree with me, let me know what you agree with me about. Let's have a conversation. It's a lot of fun. Meanwhile, do share this video with all your friends on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, if you can do it on Instagram, I don't know. If you can share this on your OnlyFans account, that'd be great. All right. Before you go, give me one of these or one of these, either one, it's fine with me. You know, I love you anyways. Do be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe specifically. I'm getting close to that 1,000 sub mark. Um, I'm about 370-ish mm, away, um, so yeah, give me one of these and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you see my ugly mug on your device anytime I put out a new video. I'm Johnny O. The Plot Hole telling you to keep your opinions unpopular. 
We'll see you next time.